a phone call at 3 in the morning from my insurance company saying that our glass break sensor had triggered. Uh, so my husband hopped in the car and came down to the avenue here. Uh, by that time the police were already on site. They had already arrested uh, a woman. Apparently I didn't see her myself. There are 11 broken windows along our business strip. Nine businesses impacted this morning. I got the call from my, from my security company telling me that my glass alarm went off and that some others in the row had gone off as well, so I got super concerned and drove right down here. The cops were here. Um, there was also an ambulance which I, w that I assumed that someone was inside, um, and all of our windows were smashed, and all the business owners are here, and they're all sweeping the sidewalks and cleaning up. It wasn't a break-in, nothing was stolen, nothing was damaged in my entire store, just the window. Could have been so much worse. I love it. Everyone who lives in this neighborhood is so amazing and kind. When I first opened, they introduced themselves to me, and I thought, really? That's so friendly. Everyone here is so friendly. We lost our entire storefront window. Um, she smashed it and there was glass all over the sidewalk, all over the interior of the store. My husband and I basically just started sweeping it up. And um, a few of the other business owners were here, those that had alarm systems, and some are just finding out about it this morning. I had one friend rush down. I was at my desk in the basement and come down and say, Leanne, are you okay? I'm like, yes, we're fine. It's just broken glass. You know, there is a really strong community in this neighborhood in general, among neighbors and among the business owners, that extends. Many of the owners of the businesses live in the neighborhood, that's pretty common. And we all support each other when things are difficult and when things go wrong and celebrate when things are good.